And there is one in the of Tehran has around 134 columns like this, with around 21 meters in height for each one of these. As you can see there, the columns in the middle are higher than the others on the pipes. Why? To let enough space there to make this window, to let some rays and air come into this hall. Now here, uh, we can come closer to see the jar. And this part was for measuring the time. So it was the first clock ever, and it's called the water clock. But how does it work? If you look inside there, we can see 11 dots. Between them, 12 spaces. Each one of these spaces means one hour. Oh. And it works through a tiny hole in the bottom there for dripping water out, drop by drop, like the seconds. Mm -hmm. So, when the water comes down, it means the time passes. It's mm -hmm. the same idea in the sand clock, if you know. Mm -hmm. uh, here we got a replica because the real one in the museum of Egyptian civilization in Fusfat City, you can visit the real one there. The temple there called the Holy of the Holies, the most important place in the temple. No one can enter this part except two persons, the king and the high priest, to no. make the offering to the god, like this painting in the background. Mm. So inside here we have the holy box with a small shrine or a small box uh, to keep golden figure for God Amun. As I told mm. you before, Amun yeah. was the main god during this time. Also his name means the hidden one. Amun means the hidden one. So the figure of Amun is supposed to be inside a small box or a small shrine to be completely unseen. Uh. In the temple there, it's the offering room for keeping all kinds of offerings and sacrifices like meat, honey, milk, mm. seeds, and so on like this. Mm. 